saying that I'm sort of like a human barometer or a human mirror, someone who's confident they're going to they're gonna like me because they'll see themselves reflected. Someone who's unconfident, someone who doesn't like themselves for whatever reasons, is going to get that reflected because I'm not going, I'm not going to enable someone. I'm from New York. Uh, out here in the Midwest, if people don't like you, they'll, they'll smile for six months and then stab you in the back, whereas in New York, they'll just tell you to drop dead. I've always, I enjoy poetry. When I, when I see someone who has written a great poem, sometimes this Greg Clark brought in a great poem, it excites me because to me, it's like there's another way to heaven. I think it's the Taoist philosophy of Buddhists, you know, there are many paths to heaven. And if I read a great poem, whether I'm pulling something and it's a Rilke, or it's a Shakespeare, or it's a Whitman, or it's a Plath, if it's a great poem, it tells me there's a way to greatness. There, there is the way to the high, and it gives me ideas. I don't feel threatened by that. But some people do, because I think they have this notion that there's only, there's greatness is out there, that they have the, either because of religious or philosophical beliefs, they believe that uh, divine inspiration, which we've argued about sometimes, that if someone else plucks down a great idea or a great poem, there's less up there for me. So they get this kind of, this feeling that, that, that if you do something great, you're taking something from me, which is an asinine notion. But I, this the only thing that I can think of why there's such jealousy between artists. I mean, stand-up comedians are notoriously backbiting. Poets are as bad or worse. I'm sure painters and sculptors have the same thing. But this is often why these groups don't, don't work out, uh, because people have jealousies. Uh, and it, it, there's no reason for it. Um, uh, and so th that's a good example.